so I'm in the garden and I've got an unboxing for you. So here's the box and you can see the brand name there, it's called Rook and what I've got in here is some samples and I believe there's also a bottle. So I'm just sitting across there. Oh, it might have been sent a hamster, look. <laughs> Maybe it's in here. Probably gonna get messy. These are the samples in amongst the hamster hay and left in the box we can see the bottle so I'll show you that now it's called Neroli as you can see on the back there's some notes very simple it just says Neroli wood musk handmade in London and it's Eau de Parfum from Rook Perfumes so that is the bottle cap seems to be wooden very natural feel and there it is naked so that's that I have a card here with the perfumer's name on it Nadine Crow so the brand's called Rook but his surname is Crow I wonder if that's what that's all about I've got a cat on my lap now she always likes to be don't you you like to be in the videos don't you sweetie I'll stroke my cat while I talk to you so let's have a look at the samples cats on the table now so anything could go wrong anything could happen okay so she, she's cleaning herself shaking the table little minx she's sniffing all the perfumes there she is right you out the way there's brooks perfume discovery on here let's have a look what's inside so it looks like we have all of the brand's perfumes in little dabber bottles undergrowth oh, the wind's blowing everything away forest There's one called suede there amber and thurible thurible i don't know what that word means so that's that and i understand we also have a sample of their latest edition which is a special perfume and it's their signature scent and it is just called rook so it's got a lot of notes in it i remember when nadine did a facebook update every single note sounded amazing bar the argarwood the oud i was a little bit concerned about that one particular note because it does upset me <laughs> upset may be a strong word i don't get on with oud too much in perfumes my cat's sneezing over in the corner i don't know if you can hear her but all the other notes sound absolutely amazing and Nadine has said that the oud is not that noticeable. So I reckon we should just go on my skin directly with Rook. So I have a clean back of my hand and let's do a little spray. Anyway, let's let that settle just a mo. So immediately I'm thinking leather. It smells like an earthy leather fragrance. it's not a pungent leather like you would get from the likes of Tuscan leather or a zoologist's elephant rhinoceros no rhinoceros actually I'm thinking of the leather's there but it's not really really strong at the moment I feel like there's some sweetness it's a little bit musky a little bit earthy quite pleasant it's probably not my thing from what I'm smelling right now but obviously things can change it's definitely a wearable leather I could wear this leather and I am quite fussy about leather so well, that's Rook and let's go in with Neroli and we'll do that on this hand here from memory Neroli isn't just Neroli Narcissus absolute in here and that's why I really wanted to try this one because I really love the smell of daffodils. Mmm, and I can smell it actually. I can actually smell daffodils, like condensed pollen of daffodils. And a, a kind of sharp, citrusy, neroli, maybe pettigrain, kind of a green smell as well. 
My hand is really shiny, so the concentration of oil in there is clearly very strong. That's a really pleasant smell. We'll see how that one develops. I'm looking forward to smelling the woods. Woods is a, a note I always enjoy, particularly with flowers and citruses. But I'm not really picking woods up just yet. I'm just getting the daffodils and citruses and maybe some kind of greenness, like a petty grain type smell. So let's try these other ones. So we've got suede here. Sorry, we've got a, we've got a local aeroplane uh, station. What do you call them? I'm just putting this on some card. What do you call aeroplane stations? Airport. I've got, I've got an airport nearby, Rochester Airport. So we get overhead plane noises quite often. So this is suede. Oh, this is nice. This is this is a lot sweeter than Rook, which is obviously a leather. That's really deepening now, that smell. Really earthy. Musky. I'm thinking of a dank place where naughty stuff happens. That's probably the leather that's doing that. So, back to suede. Oh, it's reminding me of Queer Beluga from Golan, which is bloody gorgeous. Yes, I really like that. Really similar at the moment to Queer Beluga from Galan, that Lart et Matier edition. Except you have to rob a bank to buy that. Well, almost. You don't have to rob a bank to buy these fragrances. They're really, really well priced. Okay, so what I'm getting is a vanilla, a really beautiful, velvety, smooth, soft suede, musky, probably iris and violet going on in here really good maybe a little bit of that kind of hot pavement after the rain smell as well but definitely vanilla and suede gorgeous this favorite so far suede i wasn't expecting that oh was <laughs> god i feel like david attenborough today we've got a cat I think that was a wasp or a giant fly. Next, oh, it's settled. It's a, it's a weird, it's one of those weird flies, like a tiger. It's got like stripes on it. Next up, we're going to go with undergrowth. I don't know why my rude mind wants to make some kind of innuendo. I kind of want to make an innuendo about undergrowth, but I haven't got anyone here egging me on, so I'm going to be behaved. I'll just let you know what I think of undergrowth. I'll let you know what I think of Nadine's undergrowth. Damn it, I couldn't help myself. Well, this is nice as well. I was expecting dank, dark forest floor. But it's not, it's bright. It's like black currant and, oh, black currant bushes. So greenery, blackberries or black currant, something fruity. Very natural smelling. Really nice. This could be a Joe Malone kind of fragrance. The way it smells right now, what you know, like a quite a simplistic, very natural, very pleasant smelling fragrance. But there is this earthiness as well, which is great. I really do love earthy smells. I'm gonna go with thurible. 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 Not furble. That's what sweetie is very familiar with, but Thurible. I have to Google that and see what it actually means. Oh, okay. The lid's off. So let's try. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised because, as I said earlier, these are very, very affordable. More, cheaper than designer. Very affordable for, uh, for niche in particular. And the fact that you can get discovery sets online. Oh, this is quite sweet. How can I describe it? Almost like a wooden floor that's just been polished with a really gorgeous floor polisher. But don't take that in a bad way. It's probably a little bit green as well. It's definitely quite sweet. I'd say it's a, it's a bright sweetness. I really am struggling to describe that one. 
I should have looked the notes up and cheated, but it's not what I do. I feel like I'm getting an earthiness yet again, but not quite so much. I feel like this sweet earthiness is maybe a... Uh, ooh, wind's blowing everything away. I feel like this sweet earthiness is perhaps a common denominator, or so it seems so far. This is, this is really changing on the paper already. I feel like there's a touch of fruitiness, musky, sweet, and I do get floor polish in a really good way, like a cherry kind of floor polish or something like that. Don't let my descriptions put you off, it smells really good. So that is Thurible, Thurible, Forest, Forest. I'm only dabbing a tiny bit on the paper it's just to give a very quick vague impression because what I'll do is I'll come back with further once I've had more chance to give them a little bit of a sniff a bit of skin time forest is obviously it's green but it's more than that it smells it smells outdoorsy it doesn't just smell like a dank dark forest it smells fresh it's almost like a forest in the snow yeah it smells like snow it smells like when the snow gets a little bit muddy it's like a fresh sharp watery slightly muddy smell and green trees like pine Christmas trees this is this is a Christmas forest in Scandinavia let's just throw that in there very earthy again but in that kind of snow on earth smell if that is I mean what does that even smell like but that's what it's conjuring up one more amber so I'm quite fond of an amber fragrance I don't like them when they're too sweet and they can go so many different ways I'm assuming this is an amber as in with resins and, and vanillas and stuff like that but sometimes amber can refer to ambergris which is the salty whale vomit which Creed are very fond, uh, fond of but let's see what this smells like hmm oh it's almond like I'd say there's quite a lot of tonka in there perhaps it's kind of that almond sweet vanillic smell it's reminding me of a uh, commodity goods tonka if anyone smelled that useless reference to most people definitely smells very tonka like light and diffusive so it feels like there's a bit of citrus element in there as well but maybe a touch of orange or something it's warming up now you like it's it's getting more heavy thicker but to me that is a lot of tonka and almond and maybe even hay or beeswax or something it's, it's really quite nice but not as dark as I was expecting. It's, light, it's quite light, and if that makes any sense, it's something that you could potentially wear on a day like today. But it is quite sweet. Okay, I need to stop. I think I've covered them all. I'm going to go back quickly to the rook one. I'm now getting some more sweetness coming through. So, this is the one that smelt leathery to me. There's a lot of layers to this, it's quite interesting. Um, I'm smelling blue skies. I don't know if I'm being influenced by what's around me. I'm smelling something quite fresh in here. Something clean and fresh at the same time as being paired up with the leather. Hard to explain. Quite nice. Neroli, much more up my street if I'm completely honest. The neroli is really good. It's almost like there's a touch of bubble gum in there as well. So you've got daffodils, a little tiny bit of bubble gum, white musk, really lovely, clean, so it's slightly soapy, white musky kind of thing. It smells like you've just got out the shower and you had a really gorgeous shower gel. And you've put some lotion on your skin and again it's like lightly scented, another aeroplane. I'm thinking Neroli is my favourite, 
but actually there's some real surprises in there. I can't wait to test them all out properly. I don't think on paper is good enough to test any perfume, let alone something that's been lovingly made by hand by someone who's quite interesting by the way. I did Google Nadim Crow, who is the owner and uh, a nose behind the brand. He is an actor, he's been in a proper big plays on the, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? He's trod some tiles, is that what you say? Sorry, I'm, not, I'm probably getting that wrong. He's an actor from plays and also he's a doctor. So the other day he updated that he'd just done a chest drain on someone whilst his colleagues around him were wearing Rook perfumes. It's kind of strange, it's bizarre. A very interesting character by all accounts and I look forward to testing out these fragrances properly and of course I will bring you full reviews of all the ones that really capture my imagination. So that's it for now, I'm checking out